Well, good evening. Welcome to now Compline on the eve of Trinity Sunday. What a great! Oh, well, there you go. Well-known spelling mistake. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> let's let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a time of reflection, just a moment to think on the day. we we pray together most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. <coughs> they shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they've set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 9 to 11a. 
A Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God, for those who enter God's rest also cease from their labours, as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest with him. Father God, as we come this night to our beds, we give you thanks for the day that has been, for all within it, for the blessings and the joys, for the sadnesses, the failures, the things that have caused us to be broken. Father God, we lift before you this night all that we are, all that we have, <clears throat> all that we have been. And on the eve of Trinity Sunday, as we think of the unity of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one substance, three separate and individual natures, one being, three persons, three personalities, Lord, we would pray that we, your church, would be one. That we would, being who we are, live in unity. That we, having our own thoughts, would share in one activity, one action, one being, one love, one joy. So, Father, we bring to you now those for whom we may be separate, we may be distant, we may be divided from. And Lord, we lift to you the names in our heads, in our hearts, out loud, of those for whom we are not one, of those with whom we are distant, broken, divided, we pray that your love, your peace, your spirit would rest on us and them. That the broken things will be healed. Lord, we thank you for the Father, the author of all, the author of our salvation, who by the taking upon himself as flesh, 
in the shape of Jesus the Christ, the incarnate God, has won for us salvation, reconciliation to the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit and made us one, living that reality out in the power and the presence, the inspiration and the support of your Holy Spirit. Father God, this night we lift to you all who do not know you. We think of those who are distant from who you are and what you are. But your love, your life, your presence, which heals, which satisfies, which blesses, which leads, might be theirs. We pray for those who do not know you this night and pray that your light, love and presence would be theirs, come into their knowledge and understanding and set them free. And we pray as we go to our beds that we would understand what the words mean when we say to live is Christ and to die is gain. As we look at those words in our Bible we maybe wonder at times but every day we wake we live for Christ and on that day when we are raised from this earth from these temporal bodies eternity the presence with you the worship before the throne the coming of the Messiah, heralding the rising of the dead, making us one, will be ours. So Father, we go to our bed knowing that tomorrow if we wake, we will serve you and you are ours and we are yours. And if we don't, then the labour is over, the race is run, and loud hallelujahs and amens resound. So bring us to that rest now, Father God. Bring us to that peace. May we sleep this night and wake tomorrow. Bless to serve and to proclaim your name in the Trinity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us, your servants, grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore be defended from all adversities. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So Lord, come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And as we go to our beds, may you 
bless us and watch over us. May you make your face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May you look kindly upon us and give us your peace this night. Amen. Sleep well. Be blessed. Good night, guys. Bless you.